Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. Let's jump on in. In the last episode, did we play as Tainted Gerb in the last one? But we got the Lost for this one here. Of course, we're going to have the modded characters mixed in a little bit there and see how that goes. But yeah, we got uh, we got the Lost here. Lost is always a really fun character, I gotta say. I think, I think Lost... I've said this before, but I, th I think Lost does get a bit of a bad rap. For being, um, being harder than he actually is. I'm not saying that he's easy by any means. Like, he's definitely one of the harder characters. But, starting with Holy Mantle, like, there's not actually that many rooms in the game. Apart from, like, the, um... Ooh, that's nice. Apart from the actual, uh, the boss rooms. Like, the big boss rooms. Like, Mother, Delirium, that sort of stuff. Where you get hit more than once a room. So, it's kind of good. And then, like, the Eternal D6... He's just one of the best changes ever made to a character. <laughs> it makes the loss so much more fun. Do you, do you guys remember when he actually used to have Holy Mantle, the item, and had to, um... No. Oh, yeah, okay. We, we, we can use this because we technically don't get hit, so... Um, like, we, we, we're not going to, um... Oh, God. We're not going to be thingy and um, getting teleported, so... Cursed Eye actually isn't too bad. Um, but yeah, uh... <laughs> Remember when this guy had the D4 and, it ha and if you used it, it re-rolled Holy Mantle? Oof. Hard times. Hard times. Sadly not what we're looking to see. We'll go back and grab that. Um, so there's another Tinted Rock there. I could pull for Small Rock, but I think our better option right now is to blow this up. And uh, there you go. Get some good stuff. Right. Um, I'm just going to pop this here straight away. And we got a mini boss. And we got the ultra secret room. Nice. Good stuff. Okay. So, yeah. Actually, I haven't had a run with Cursed Eye in such a long time. And I mean a really long time. It's it's one of the only items I still basically never, ever pick up. So, this is going to be interesting. Um, I think it's a really cool and unique item to have, like, this sort of weird charge attack. It's a shame that more, um, more attacks don't use this sort of style. But it's really, really cool. And yeah, it's just one of those items you never really get a chance to pick up. But the Lost is one such chance. And let's see what we end up getting from our Ultra Secret Room here. What? <laughs> Why does it cost hearts? <laughs> I'm confused. Um, reveals the Ultra Secret Room. Spawns a cracked key every floor with an Ultra Secret, um, secret Room. Also spawns cracked key on pickup. Okay. That seems... Really, 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 really good. <laughs> um, yeah, that seems that this seems kind of nuts, and like probably one of the best items we could have possibly got on the first floor. I don't know why it costed health. I'm a little confused by that, but hey, her, let's roll with the punches. And getting a, a very unique and great modded item off the bat that's hopefully gonna let us see even more as we progress here. I'm hoping to use this red rune, by the way. Um, on our uh, boss item, depending on what it is. Obviously, if it's a damage up or a fire it up, I won't take it. But if it's like a health upgrade, then um, the red rune will be pretty useful for that, I think. Also, having Cursed Eye here with Spectral is pretty nice. Ooh, I actually genuinely could die in this fight. I gotta be really careful. This is not a fight I'm very comfortable with, I've gotta say. I, I think I think Baby Plum is a boss that hits me pretty regularly. And Cursed Eye is not making it any easier, I'll be honest. Just don't do your little spouting around the room bullshit, because I'm, I'm not ready for it. If we can get her down... Okay, there you go. There you go. Ah, oh, come on now. Please don't die on this run, it's so good. Okay, good. We're fine. <laughs> that was a bit scary. Yeah, like the box. The box is super red runeable. Um, I'll go back and grab the other cracked key just so we have multiple. Uh, but we don't need more than one, really. Um, but yeah, I don't know what the uh, what the the locus that we've got following us actually does. I'll be honest. Uh, but that's whatever. Unfortunately, as well, the the reverse card we got here wasn't so good. I probably could have used it um, during the uh, the boss fight, but. Oh, well. Whatever. Let's just take our crack key. And, uh, yeah, I think it said it spawns a cracked key at the start of every floor and reveals the red room. Which, 
seems obscenely powerful, but we'll uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, so let's go down. We're just going to go to the normal path here. We're just going to the lamp. I'm not going to take uh, the risk of going to the alt path laws. Because with the custom rooms, they can be a little trickier. So we did indeed get one. Okay, right. One second. Right, let's carry on here. So yeah, we did, we did indeed get another cracked key, which I think is kind of insane. The, it not only reveals it every floor, but it gives you the cracked key to open it every floor. Okay, good, good. So, we want to be using it here. What? We got a planetarium as well. No way. Uh, hmm. Right, this is something that I have to go and take a little look at real quick. Uh, Isaac Neptunus. Because if this, this might not work with Cursed Eye. Overwritten by Neptunus. Wait, Cursed Eye is overwritten by Neptunus. What the heck? Shall I go for a reroll? Let's go for a reroll. We got Vesta. Jet of fire emits from you every 10 seconds, dealing your damage plus 10 and burning enemies. The more enemies in the room, the more frequent the flames come out. Grants immunity to fire. Plus one coin, plus one bomb, plus one key. All hearts, coins, and bomb pickups have a 20% chance to be better versions. Chance to gain holy mantle when taking damage. Okay, so we, we definitely want this one then. And this is from um, the amazing uh, mod... For uh, the... What the hell's character car? Andromeda. Ooh, hello. We got some fire theming going on today, apparently. I like it. Well, th hasn't this been lovely? Hasn't this been lovely? Getting a planetarium there was uh, pretty... Something that I wouldn't have expected. Damn, this is pretty cool. Now we just need, like, the craggle from... Um... From the quarry pack. And then we got all the fire in the world. This is so cool. Well, it's kind of funny to get Black Candle here. Because if you don't know, Black Candle overwrites the curse of Cursed Eye. But we already... Kind of overwrite the curse of cursed eye because we can't get hit. This is a very just interesting run right now. We got a lot of cool stuff going on, and I'm very happy about it. I don't know if I want to use my next cracked key here on this floor again or not because um, I mean I'm not going to get another one this floor. So I suppose there's not much point. Make sure we're careful here. So yeah, I, th I think it said like the more enemies that are in a room, the more chance we have to to shoot fire. I don't know why we have a fire familiar now. I kind of want to see how much damage it does, but I don't want to risk my life to do so. Okay, I'm not going to take the pill. I don't think we need to. Right. But this is some pretty cool stuff right here. I am really liking the run that we've got going on right now. Oh, my lord. Oh, god. That was actually kind of close. This guy needs to die right now. This guy can... Still fire at me, dude. Dude. This room's scaring me. Oh my god. <laughs> that room scared me a lot. It's really nice when it does it immediately upon us entering a room. I want, I want more fire stuff now. I want to be the fire god. I've had a fire god run before, like a similar one, but it's it's not had this new planetarium item, so that's kind of a, a new thing to add on to this. Um... I'm going to reroll. We got a fire one as well. Lights enemies on fire. <laughs> no way. Hot Wheels. What is this run? This is the most fire themed run I've ever seen. I love it. I just, all I'm hoping right now is that I don't die to something really stupid. I just want to make sure I don't take a really dumb hit to a really easy enemy or boss, such as Gurglings. God damn, that fire does a lot of damage. Uh, wooden Horn, that's new. Uh, damage up on a Black Heart. That's a pretty good boss item. I'll take it. That's definitely new. I don't know what that's from. Um, wait a minute. I'm pretty sure I have the thing on to tell me what items mods, uh, modded items are from. Eye Belial. Vengeful Spirit. I would definitely take Eye Belial here. Um... But let me just take a little look here. If we go to our encyclopedia, inventory, 
I think we can see and hear what mod it's from. Something wicked. Okay, nice. I like it. Right. Let's go. Eye of Belial here should be huge for us. Let's go down. Yeah, Eye of Belial should be absolutely huge for us because it's now piercing and a bit of herming on top of that, so... I cannot wait. This is just a very, very, very fun run. Okay, good. And then we'll pop this open. Okay, gotta be careful of some of these enemies, because some of these could hit me pretty easily. Good. Oh, ho, ho, yum heart. Red stew's a little better, though. Red stew's a little better. It's going to be quite a big damage up for a little while here. I'm always scared going into curse rooms like this, but I think it is worth it. We got tarot card. Um, wait a minute. I just realized, yeah, it dropped a card in here as I left. I realize I'm wasting my time for uh, red stew right now, but that's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh my lord. With the red stew damage we are earning. This is such a fun run. I'm so happy. I know that we're just, just kind of talking about Isaac here and nothing else, but the runs like this, I feel like you get them every now and again, where the game just pushes you into it. It's like, yeah, all you're going to talk about is the run, because that's the run's just cool. And this, again, I say it a lot at the minute while we're playing modded, but this is what I love about modded runs. It's yet another modded run that's so different and unique and it was still something we've we've not seen before uh, i think i will grab that i do need some fire rate up a pretty decent fire rate up as well um and also we just grabbed a bunch of money there too which is really nice gotcha check out what's going on here uh i think we'll buy this Hanged Man. I can't remember what the Hanged Man does now, to be honest. Let's uh, drop it and have a little look-see. Tensor player into the Keeper. Okay, we can we can pop this one just, like, now. And it's going to lower our fire rate quite a lot, but gives us triple shot. It means that everything we kill is going to drop money. My goodness. We get Perfection there as well. We'll reroll that. Unfortunately, it did not give us anything. Um, and we go down to the next floor. Beautiful. This is just tickety-boo. This is exactly what I needed to do. Exactly what I needed. Oh god. This is a room that I hate. Hate. Hate the look of. Because of the fires that we uh, that we automatically shoot, it could have just blown up that barrel straight away. But we did get a crimson chest. Uh, we don't have a, a cracked key to open that this floor, unfortunately, but it's kind of interesting. There's another crimson chest. God damn it. What's underneath it? I've got a Oh, it's the car, isn't it? It doesn't matter. I'm stupid. Interesting room. Oh. Curved horn would be a real good trinket to take right now, but we only have the space for one trinket. Oh, I keep forgetting there's a chance for there to be enemies in these rooms now. I need to remember that. So we'll definitely just take champion belt here. Oh, we get both? Okay. Yep, yeah, Mum's Eye's pretty good. I will take Mum's Eye. I suppose Perfection's definitely better because we're firing more fires due to Perfection. That's kind of the best thing to stick with, really. Yeah, it's cool getting to see all these new red rooms and red item pools and stuff. This room's crazy. I kind of wish I could take care of Tom, but we'll see. Maybe maybe the shop will give us the option to do so, because we might get, um, what's it called? Uh, Mum's purse or something. We shall see. Let's we'll see what we get from here. <sighs> Unfortunate, but honestly, we didn't really lose much there. We, th losing the pedestal's more, more devastating than losing that item. We're just leaving so much trash on the floor for everything to get hit by. There's fire everywhere. Yeah, yeah, I can fly. 
I don't care about you. I can fly. Good, good. Um, sadly, just this boy. Ooh, Mum's Eye as well. I think Mum's Eye triggers based off luck too. I can't remember if that is the one that triggers off luck. I feel like the cart, I don't know what it is about it, but it looks like a little bit too HD for Isaac. Like the, the textures are a bit too good. <laughs> it's kind of weird. It looks slightly out of place. I don't know what it is. Like the resolution looks a little too high or something. No, I so nearly took damage then. I don't know what hurt me, but that troll bomb almost got me. Like it was, it was kind of like my own fire hurt me then. That would have been devastating. I would have cried a little bit at least. Oh my god. We are annihilating. I realize we have like a pretty inflated damage value right now. Um, due to the fact that we still have, um, what's it called in action? Red stew. Damn, that runes like that, just they're just evil, aren't they? Okay, so that that cart can explode. Good to know. I did not know that cart could explode. Correct. So much money, oh my god. And do I want that? I'm going to say no. Uh, I definitely don't want that. A speed upgrade's good, but we're going to keep trying to roll. I realize I could lose this item by doing this, but the rotten the rotten tomato is, like, not quite good enough. Unless you're going to, like, mother or something. How did neither of you die there? There you go. Right. Good, good. Got another charge. Yeah, I need to make sure I don't walk into the cart in non-combat rooms, because I'm going to end up blowing myself up. I walked into the red door and then pressed space because it was a red door. Obviously, not the right room. Just one of the red rooms I opened. Not really the same, but hopefully this floor, we can get our damage value a little higher so it's a little more in line with what we just had going on. Head back that way now. <laughs> Can't believe I did that. So stupid. But yeah, this this item, this this red eye thing. In fact, that's another thing I need to check. What is the red eye actually from? Whoopsie. Um, that's also from something wicked. What the hell is that that keeps happening? <laughs> that just took away my holy mantle from me pausing the game. Ah, it's gone. It's okay. We missed out on one. It's fine. Yeah, this, this item's gonna get me killed at some point, because it just keeps randomly taking away my holy mantle, and I'm not quite sure why. Like, if it had taken my holy mantle away, then I'd have been dead. <laughs> I mean, I really hope that doesn't happen, but I'm just saying, it can. <laughs> Oh god, oh god, oh god. This is a room that I could die in. Okay, thank god. We got it, we got it, we're good. I really wish um, Mimic Chests had their own item pool. I recently got a mod that makes it so that Ghost Chests have their own item pool. And it'd be nice to see um, Mimic Chests get their own treat- get that- get that treatment as well. Because right now they are just so valueless. Like, they don't even give Golden Chest loot. If they just give Golden Chest loot, they'd be so much better. I just want to say, I guess we're kind of stuck with this now. Oh, there you go. Bit of damage. Not much damage, but it's a bit. That is... Oh, that that's pretty good. But again, we need more familiar space for that to be worth it. I think perfection with the fire is still better. I think... By the way, I might even be... I might be wrong about perfection affecting the fires. Also, we got another... F yeah, it definitely is affecting them, because we're not firing anywhere near as many now. Perfection is the better option for us here. 
Let's get the hell out of here. I mean, it's, it also just affects other stuff as well. It's not just uh, affecting the fires. Other items we get in the future could be affected by this. Nice. Monkey's paw ain't gonna really help us too much. That'd be a nice mod to see as well. One that m makes it so trinkets that don't affect the lost can't show up. I don't know if that happens on um, on Tainted Lost or not. While Hell Devil Deal rooms have a choice between... Um, okay, well that doesn't actually matter to us all too much really, does it? Right, please give us Mum's Purse here. That'd be so nice. Sadly not. We got the Empress here. Oh, I forgot we can destroy these guys. Oh, spiders. Uh, I might as well actually try and re-roll that into something a little bit better. Just batteries. Good. Exactly what I was looking for. I can't believe how much money we have. It's insane. So I'm wondering, considering we got a red fire when we picked up the trinket, do different characters have different coloured fires next to them? That seems to be maybe the case. Right, let's let's see if we can um, re-roll the shop item to something a little bit better. Yeah, that's good enough. I'll take it. Birdie in a box. Hey. Do, 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 do. I was singing a song that, like, I don't actually know any of the lyrics to apart from the, the chorus, so I kind of just messed up there. I was singing Buddy in a Box to the tune of Solid as a Rock. Solid as a rock. Okay. But more more red items for us here. Just remember this guy's gonna dookie some troll bombs all over the place. Dude, this is a bit unfair. You're getting way too close to me here. There we go. Ah, actually not. Right, let's check this first. Well, this is a bit of a shame. There's, there's, oh, fuck! I did not see you there at all, you cheeky little shit. <laughs> you little fucker. <laughs> He was hidden behind the statue. That's just evil. It's just evil. That was so close to me dying then. Right, grab this. What on earth? I got like a a pony head. Let's pop this now. Why not? Got plenty of keys. Let's uh, take this on. Yeah, do you know what? Why not? And also, I'm pretty sure this is a secret room. Yeah. You can just tell. I just have that sixth sense. What up, Gluttony? How you doing? Oh, there's another re-rollable item. We're getting a lot of items, like, and a lot of just potential for re-rolls at the minute. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say the re-rolls are going particularly well, but it's good enough. Really don't want to have to go back through that room, but we have to. Should be fine. It's just a little bit scary as all. God, see what I mean? It's a 30% chance for the item to disappear. We're just getting reasonably unlucky. We've had a lot of items disappear on us so far. Nice, with all the fire fire. I love it when we enter a room and it does that straight away and it just kills any enemies camp in the corners. See what we get from this. Unfortunately, not much at all. Come on now. What's our item room got for us? Yeah, you can't really do much, can you, fella? Oh, hello now. Okay, so we could grab... Actu yeah, we'll, we'll grab this because it's, it's actual thingy. Uh, I maybe should have grabbed the other one because I think it can give you uh, like a lot of damage if you don't get hit. Uh, I'm going to reroll that. Yes, please. With with um, what we've got going on right now, I think almond milk is perfectly acceptable. Our damage is actually decent with it as well. It's not terrible. There's another cracked key. Yeah, you see what I mean? It's doing good stuff. And there's just fire everywhere. Everything is on fire. Permanently. Always. Can can you open your face, please, sir? It's really rude when enemies are just refuse to open up their face hole. 
I am getting over here because there's definitely an enemy in here and I do not see it. <laughs> Why do rooms like this exist? BFF, that's pretty good. Oh, that car is chonky now. My lord, that car is... It's got some heft. Yeah, I think I think with the with the tier effects we've got right now, almond milk was one hundred percent the right choice. And almond milk with piercing in general is just pretty good. Soy milk and almond milk and any of the like low damage fire items work really well. Okay, remember this is this room. Good, good consumables are looking fantastic. Yeah, look at that. We're dominating. We do actually have a spare cracked key, so I might come back and open that. Okay, careful. Oh my god, this is it's beautiful. This is beautiful. Oh, we got a boss trap room as well. Not a good item, to be honest. Um, yeah, a little arcade action. We'll get in here, see what's what. Okay, it's back. Honestly, the fact that it's back means this time I gotta take it, which is a bit of a shame, because that means it's a bit of a waste of time, but... The game deemed it necessary. Flat one damager. That's not a flat one damager. <laughs> of course it's not. We have, a, we have a, like, multiplier. But it'd be kind of cool if it was a flat one damager that went through multipliers. Ooh, that's, uh, that's the bloat. <laughs> oh, that's the bad bloat as well. Fuck me. That is the bloat nobody wants to mess with. Okay. It's going to be a little annoying to make our way back to this crimson chest, but I am going to go and get that other cracked key from wherever it is. I think it's uh, the room before the item. That fucking room. Who in their right mind thought that was a good idea? Please don't say that's a modded room, because that would... That would disappoint me greatly. In fact, I hate it so much, I'm going to avoid it completely. So this cracked key should open this. And it gave us sulfur. Eh, uh, no. No. I'm going to say no to sulfur. I apologise. But I really want my reroll ability. I think it's helping a ton. I do like those, uh, those crimson chests. It's just a shame that they can spawn when you don't have cracked keys. Or you, like, don't have one to use, at least. It can be a little bit of a problem. Just grab that. Grab that. And I don't think we've done the boss yet, so... No, we have not. So let's uh, pop this. Okay, it, is, it is Red Mum, which is a little problematic when we're covering the floor in so much nonsense. We're going to have a hard time seeing when she's stomping. But it does also mean that when she stomps, we're going to hit her with a lot of this nonsense. Good, good. We're doing the lamb, so let's go this way. Oh, we've already been in here. Okay. Right, down we go. I wonder what other red items we can get. I mean, I'm pretty sure Sacred Heart is a red item, so we could end up getting that. I am loving this run. I think Almond Milk's just an item that I will always take anyways. This isn't an actual plausible path for us, is it? Is it? I think we might die if we go in there. Yeah, we would. We would? Would we? I don't know. I'm going to avoid it anyways. I don't think we would, actually. But I also kind of do think there's a chance. So there might be another way in anyways, but going that way doesn't seem safe. Oh, the hell? Oh, there you are. Eh, unfortunately, there isn't another way in, but I am not wanting to go through a cash room to get to it. That just does not seem like a good idea. You see? Okay, I need to report this to uh, the Andromeda developers, because that cannot be intended. I'm pretty sure it's from the Andromeda fire. I'm fairly sure. 
<gasps> Spiked rock. God damn it. This game. Every time. It's scaring the hell out of me. Ooh, this is a bad boss. This is genuinely a boss I could quite easily die to. I've died to this guy as the lost many times before. Because his feet just don't make any sense. Oh, come on now. That's just wrong. That's just evil. We've got to go and try and get another charge. It's always risky doing this, because I mean, the any room could be a bad one that's your demise, but getting two health upgrades in a row is this guy. There you go. Oh, is that a ghost chest? It is. Ghost chests have a new item pool, so I always want to try and uh, use those. I always want to see if I can get a ghost item, and especially because death certificate is in, the, is in the item pool for the ghost chest. Obviously, the rarest item in there, but it is there. That's a lot of explosives. Thank you. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. God damn, that's an evil room right there. <laughs> no, I don't care anymore. <laughs> that's just that's just not okay. Three health upgrades in a row. I realize there's a lot of health upgrades to grab, but come on now. These enemies need to die immediately. <laughs> Those things are evil. Good. You can pop that there. Okay, so we've only had to miss one red room so far, which is very nice. And then this one we get strawberry milk, which is very good. Um... Strawberry milk put my fire rate to 74. The fuck? <laughs> it doubled my damage as well. 74 fire rate. That's nuts. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Just want, like, one more heavily fire-themed item. It's really annoying that the car sits exactly where the loot spawns and you can't see what it is. I don't know if that's, like, just by accident or what, but it sits very frustrating sometimes. Okay. We're having a good time of it. We're laying down some fire. We froze him at the perfect time then. Oh, you are absolutely blasted, sir. Absolutely blasted. Devil deal. We do have a potential hush fight. Mum's knife? Mum's knife is kind of an odd one. I think we re-roll. And yeah, there you go. We take something like that. And do you know what? I'm a gambler. We we probably will die. But I've got to try it out. Familiars share their tear effects with the player. Oh, damn. That sounds very nice. Although we lose perfection, actually. So maybe not. Angry Tears seems like it could be very, very broken, so let's take that. It happened again! And this is just awful. Broken Murdom could save our life here. Ah, oh, you little fucker. I don't really need my bombs for anything here, so I'm going to go whole hog on this, pretty much. Ah, 
I've got a few rocks left here and there, but I'm not going to go for that. Right. Let's try this out. I, I feel like I very easily could die here, but I have a lot of damage and the fire should block the shots, so it should be okay. I'm just worried that I get hit by my own fire again, because that could really, like, ruin us. But yeah, Broken Murden plus all these fires should do a good job. Also, Blusty, Blusty. Bloody Lust is going to help out a ton. Blusty Blood even. And also, we got this. Mum's, uh, Mum's Contact coming up. Doing its thing. Yeah, here we go, look. We can keep him pretty much completely subdued here. I'm just going to keep a very close eye on the shots that are um, coming in from above or below. They're kind of the, the danger ones. I'm having to tap fire here as well to keep strawberry milk uh, active. It's kind of annoying and it's going to give me RSI, but it's worth it for the damage. Yeah, we kind of want to do a spread of fire like this. Just a little back and forth spread. Just to make sure we're deleting every tear that comes out of that guy's face. Every single gosh damn one of them. Uh, it's going to be a kind of slow fight here. Like, we don't have great damage for this. We've done about 25-30% of his health so far. Um, and it's taken us, like, what, like a minute? So, another, like, two minutes or so of this fight, probably. Shouldn't be too bad. I mean, the fire's doing just... The fire's doing what the fire does best. Saving the lost's life. You know how it be. Yeah, this is some beautiful stuff. Okay, this is kind of a little bit where things get a bit fishy. We might have to start firing towards the fire coming toward The shot's coming towards us in a minute. Oh, God. I've got proper bad RSI right now. My hand is killing me. This is uh, quite the schlog, but we're, we're doing it. <laughs> Such a funny fight. Yeah, no thank you with all those shots, please. No thank you. I don't want any of them coming into me. Okay, you look. I've just literally set up a wall of fire behind me that nothing can pass through. <laughs> so good, right? One thing we've got to be careful of is the um, the the light beam attack. That that could still hit us pretty easily, and it can hit you multiple times very very easily. Actually, so that's got to be like that 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 actually very easily could kill us. Thinking about it now. We gotta keep our eye on that. He might not get a chance to do it. In fact, I'm hoping we're gonna get him just before. Yeah, it looks like we are. There you go. He's dead. Okay, we got lucky there. We did not fancy it. And we hip hop to hip hop down. This has been spicy. Spicy, spicy. Right, grab our cracked key again. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh my god. Hello. You're surrounded by molten fire. Hey, famine. You doing good? Still no item from one of these yet. Ooh, dogma babies to do their thing. Can we? Are these killable? Yes, apparently so. They've got a lot of health. God damn it. Terrible item followed by instantly rerolled out of existence. That's big sad. I see you there, by the way. Really, cart? Get out the fucking way, please. Oof. Oof on that one there. You alright up there? Y'all okay? My boss shouldn't be too hard here as well. 
Ooh, this is a horrible room. Oh, no. This is a room that I could so easily die on, actually. I need to be really careful here. Okay, I hate, hate, hate those turrets. Just get a line of fire set up. Spawn into the car as well, which helps. And again, set up the fires. Try as you might. You are what we call in the business a big bitch. Dude, dude, the fire hit me again. If I die now, I'm going to be real pissed. <laughs> Good fun game. Good fun. Good fun. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a very fun run nonetheless. Would have liked to have won that one. Definitely should have won that one, but the fire from my own item hurt me. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.